I would like to show you all uh, a old 18-inch uh, LCD monitor that uh, had a little bit of a double image problem. It was displaying if you were if you had it hooked up to your DVD player and you then turned the DVD player on, it would say new signal, you know, right in the center here. And what it did is it had another ghost up there. And as I pinched on the screen in the corner that image would come back and would go down to the center. And also, I did repair this actually for a friend. His, and there's your T-Con board there. Kind of hard to get in the thing because there's too much glare coming off of it because it's really shiny. These are your little tape carrier packages here. Now yeah, there's tiny, thin little wires that run through that thing there. That's a microchip. Thin film, thin film transistor array and then you got the pixels in here but if I hold this up you might be able to see the pixels now it doesn't work okay well set that aside for now okay here's the board it takes the inputs okay so you got your output okay your big one is goes to the screen your small one couples to your speakers and your and uh, had no tuner and then your inputs for audio and video and all that kind of cool stuff. Microprocessor, RAM for it. Then you got a, another couple. I guess this is a, another RAM chip. Uh, yeah, that's a couple of RAM chips. A digital audio driver. The preamp, I guess, for him. And let's see, where's that one? There it is. That connects to the power supply. 5 and 12 volts comes in. Okay, so here's the power supply. Okay, focus on the damn thing. Oh well. But, anyways, you got the picture. Yeah, let me zoom in on it here. I don't like using zoom, but you know, sometimes you gotta. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. That capacitor is a replacement. Another replacement cap. Transformer. That's your high speed switching transformer. This is what switches at a thousand times a second. And then you've got your driver, what drives that at the high frequencies. And another thing, if you're not sure if your TV is powering up, you've checked the power supply if you know how to do it. But what you're going to need is either a multimeter, what is able to count how many frequencies, or you're going to need a um, another coil. And a magnetic uh, pickup, like a Cantar amp would work. A pickup for one of those would work. You got your your variable or your heat sensitive resistor thing. You got your bridge rectifier. You got your first filter and your second filter. And you've got him. And then this is the circuitry here. It keeps this guy oscillating at the correct. One thing I do not like about this circuit is they use an electrolytic to control the frequency. So as this guy goes gets old, the frequency is going to drift out of tolerance, and then this guy won't be working as efficiently. Here's your 5-volt rectifier shock key high-speed diode thing, and that feeds that big reservoir capacitor. And that small little wimpy diode there feeds your 12-volt line. So I don't know why they did that. Here's your 5-volt choke. 5 volts goes out on the red, 12 volts goes out on the yellow, and it says actually on the board. Auto isolator, you probably already know what that is, a little transistor. Uh, I no, I tried looking at the part number on that diode, because I'm able to find it. I know there's that's a capacitor, resistor, another ceramic cup, capacitor coupling. These are just coupling caps because they're so small. So I would like to show you our problem maker in the thing. I don't know if you can see that. The top is all like raised on it. It's like a dome. The back of it's kind of bulged out too. Let's see if I can get the phone here to focus on it. Let's see. Focus you. Focus. This is worse my camcorder because my camcorder usually focuses on it here. 
You know, you can see the top is bulged. Alright, so, it is a bad cow. So, T, my friend brought it to me because of that, because he took it to a repair shop, and I said, oh, now your power supply's shot. Well, you have to replace your power supply. Well, hmm. So, he brought it to me, and he wanted to know if I could fix it. I was able to actually fix the damn thing. So, this is my right hand. This is the hand I'm better at with pointing at things. There, so, then again. <laughs> Well, this thing had a little nasty surprise for me one day. <laughs> my friend didn't tell me it was plugged in a half hour ago. I went to go repair this thing. Here's one across that capacitor, and boy, did that wake me up or what? And ah, uh, let me just say we had some foul mouth happen. <laughs> so okay, well, bye, you guys.